Good night to you. My name is Prosper Tarovinga and I'm inviting you to this lunch and learn that has been recorded live on Facebook. If you're watching this part, you're watching a replay um, of a video we're going to be talking about relationships. So if you have watched up until now, just type in the number two so that we understand the people that are watching this content and we can tailor make it so that you can actually enjoy it. My mission is to basically help entrepreneurs like yourself to set up a reliable business that is profitable and enjoyable. So the more you type in the number two, it gets me to understand what sort of content interests you so that you can start implementing effective digital marketing strategies and um, so that I know what it is that I can actually do to help you. I see Mr. Tuff is in the house. What's happening, my man? Hopefully today you have spoiled the missus. And I see Luke Corin is in the house as well. Um, you boys should be spoiling your missus. Is that, is, that, is that the right word? Missus. <laughs> Fantastic. Right, right, right. So for you guys that are just there, uh, yeah, look, all is well, my man. Happy Valentine's to you and the missus. Um, hopefully you guys are doing fantastic things over there. I'm just going to really introduce the show for those that are watching this for the first time. Welcome aboard. Um, basically, I believe that if you're running an online business, it should be profitable and enjoyable. And I also believe that you should be able to create for and relate to an audience that you're going to be demanding money off of. The reason why I'm doing this um, is because I created a four-step system that is designed to help you market scale and grow your business, um, you know, and use digital marketing strategies of the 21st century that will actually help you, um, you know, earn more money with less struggle. And today we're going to be talking mainly about relationships since it's February the 14th and it happens to be Valentine's Day. So I'm hoping that you've been spoiled. I'm hoping that you're spoiling the ones in your life. And if not, this video is something that you really, really want to watch because we're going to be touching on a lot of those points. And I see Naomi G. Dow is in the house. Thank you so much for tuning in to this live session of the Lunch and Learn where we're talking about relationships. And I'm thinking you as an affiliate marketer, this will be something that will be, um, you know, very, very good for you. And I see Nicole is in the house. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you're having a fantastic day. It is Valentine's Day in Australia right now. I hope you are being spoiled. Naomi, I'm doing fantastic. Thank you so much for tuning in. Right. Now, um, obviously, as a business person, we've got an African saying um, that says, if you want to go far, you go alone. But if you want to go further, you go together. So in your life as an entrepreneur or as a business person, you're going to have romantic relationships. You're going to have friendships with people, um, you know, maybe that are in your niche or that are doing the same thing as you are doing. And you're also going to be having, um, you know, um, you know, business partnerships. And you're also going to be having either fans, followers or clients. All of those are relationships that you need to be looking closely at in order for them to thrive. You yourself also need people around you in order for you to be doing have a business that's actually profitable and enjoyable. So if that's what you caught about this show today, that's what we're exactly going to be talking about. The relationships that are in your life, the ones that are going to take your business to the next level. All right. Now, Steve Thompson says teamwork is where it's at. Absolutely. Happy Valentine's, my brother. Hope you're having a fantastic day there and you're spoiling the ladies in your life. This is the best I could do on short notice when it comes to sharing and spreading the love out there. Thank you so much there, Steve. So like I was saying, all the relationships that you have, um, you know, in your life um, can actually take your business to the next level because you don't know um, what other people know. And there's been research and, um, you know, there's been um, numerous studies that say that every single person in our life knows at least 250 people that can help you within, um, you know, um, th th that they know personally. So within that 250 people that you know or a friend knows, 
one of them could be your customer. One of them could be your client. So it's within those relationships that you then get those referrals, etc., etc. I see Aaron Egan is in the house. How are you going, my brother? And hope you're having a fantastic Valentine's Day right there. All right. So you can't make it alone. No matter how good you're going to be at doing whatever it is that you do, you will never be an entrepreneur that operates solo. You know, and often a lot of people are struggling in business or in different areas in their lives only because they don't have the right support network. They don't have the right relationships around what they do. I literally have a guy for everything that I do. I've got a guy for my accounts. I've got a guy for my properties. I've got a guy for, um, you know, conveyancing. I've got a guy for literally every aspect of my life. Have you got a guy for things that actually mean something that you cannot personally do yourself? And that's where the relationships come in. Do you know what I mean? Often a lot of people are struggling in business and in, in a lot of areas of their lives because they don't make the right connections that will actually help them in their life. And they overlook this problem because we are taught in school to operate as an individual. You know what happens at school? You are given your homework and you submit it and you're graded on it by what you have done. If you copy anyone or if you let somebody, you know, borrow your notes or let somebody borrow your idea, guess what happens? You're given a wrong mark or you're given a mark that is, um, you know, um, not satisfactory to yourself. So this, that's why we, we, we blink at ourselves. But in real life, we all need other people in order for us to survive. Even back in the, in the ape man days, you know, in the caveman days, they used to be the hunters. There was the gatherers. There was the people that skinned the animals as soon as they come. There's the people that dried the fruit. Or if it was nuts, there was the nut crushers. Everybody has a particular, you know, reason to be in your life. Every person has a particular need, um, you know, that they can serve within your life. Are you actually nurturing those leads or are you exploiting, not exactly in those words, but are you actually utilizing those relationships that are prevalent in your life? You know, each and every one of us has different types of relationships that, you know, um, that are there in our lives. And these they affect different, um, you know, level levels of success that you have within your business. How's it going, Christine? Hope you're having a fantastic um, Valentine's Day there. We're just talking about relationships and how they actually help, um, you know, each and every one of us within business. Now, Naomi says the real joy in life comes from helping and lifting others. Good business is the same. Absolutely. And I love that about um, what you've just said, because in life we're here to live, we're here to learn and we're here to contribute. So you can only contribute when you have relationships to people you can contribute to and you get most of the satisfaction when you can actually help other people be, do and have a happier existence. So that's a really good input right there. So in order for you to actually create, um, you know, any sort of success, you have to understand what relationships do you have around you? And then you need to learn how to nurture those relationships. Yes, as business people, we get busy. But that doesn't mean you can't pick up the phone to call your mom. That doesn't mean you can't pick up the phone to call your sister and find out how your niece or your daughters or your other siblings are doing. I know we get busy, we, we get caught up in what we're doing and if people don't understand or people are not flowing in the right um, you know, direction of which we um, are, are taking our businesses, we tend to shut people out. But there's four major relationships that you need to take stock of right now. If you don't have any of those, utilize today to rekindle those relationships and so that you can actually have um, a positive effect on your business. You know? A lot of us sometimes neglect our romantic relationships. I know Valentine's Day is all about romance. It's all about, um, you know, love and all that stuff. But when you're, uh, you know, uh, uh, an entrepreneur, your spouse or the person who's really, really close to you offers the most emotional support. It's not easy showing up on a live video like this every single day if I was not confident that I will go and maybe get a hug from my wife if nobody watches this video. 
We all need that emotional support, no matter how strong you are, no matter how um, you know confident you think you might be. An occasional hug here and there, and um, I, I believe in you is definitely going to be um, you know you be supportive for you. And you also have to be there for those romantic relationships. You know, um, Christine says, hope you're going out for Valentine's. Absolutely. I'm actually first going to do the garden because that's my present to my wife. And then pretty much after that, we're going to be going out. So a lot of people would ignore, you know, having these romantic relationships around them. Because sometimes you just need somebody who will listen to you. Sometimes you just need to talk to somebody who maybe won't even talk back to you, but would understand how you feel or just a release of your emotions. You know, this may not be the most important type of relationship in other people's eyes, but it relates, I mean, when it comes to business, but it's one of the ones that have the greatest impact, first of all, to your own attitude and second of all, to your own mindset. You can't do well if the relationships or the people around you are not feeling well or are not happy. Can you imagine if my wife was not happy or if my daughter was always grumpy? Do you think I'd have the energy that I, I have, in, 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 you know, to talk to strangers? I don't think so. Good day, Luke Moroni. How's it going, my man? Hope you're having a fantastic Valentine's Day right there. So each of us, you know, you know, longs to actually spend life. Um, you know, you, sometimes when you don't have romantic relationships, you can't concentrate in life. Because you're always thinking of going out on dates. You're always thinking of how am I going to seduce the next, um, you know, person in order to, to, for them to be, to be with you. So why don't you, you know, cultivate those relationships and maybe make it with people that actually, um, you know, of the same wavelength as you or people that actually understand where you're going, etc., etc. You know, Brian says, hi, Prosper. Thanks. Great topic. Keep up the great work. Well, it is Valentine's Day today, you know, so I thought I would come in and be relevant. You know, everybody needs somebody that they love in, in, in their life. And then that person then becomes the emotional, um, you know, punch bag, you know, not exactly in those words, but then you need some place to sort of have, you know, somebody to talk to and, and, and have, um, you know, conversations with people that actually get who you are. But also if you've had, you know, relate, you know, romantic relationships, do not, um, do not forget to nurture them because I've got a three-year-old um, daughter right now. She's a three-nager. She's the love of my life. But when she was born, which was three years ago, she was tiny like this. I would make phone calls, sales calls while she was on my shoulder. Right now, she doesn't want me anywhere near her. For those that follow me much, you would have seen um, photos of her during the weekend. She was like embarrassed that I was there. And I'm like, you're only three, my love. I'm still paying your bills. All right. So she's grown into this person into this lovable, um, you know, little girl. What has happened is my wife or my wife has also been growing in the process. But have I been noticing her growth? I don't think so. Do you know what I mean? So people that you are around, they're also growing, you know, and they also, you know, you know, have needs that need to be satisfied. Are you being them for a be, being there for them? Or are you just being the selfish person because you're the one that needs that emotional support? So the life of an entrepreneur is, is, is not, it's not normally for everyone. And it has broken a lot of relationships along the way. You know why? Because we get caught up in our busyness in life. And then we forget the people that are actually, you know, making our dinners or making our lunches. And we just take that for granted. So if you're with somebody who doesn't understand maybe what it is that you're doing, their attitude can actually affect how much, you know, time you spend in your business. Because if they are a nagging Sally and they don't understand that you need to create for and relate for your audience, guess what they're going to want? They're going to need all the attention for themselves, you know? And then by the time you appear to your customers mentally, maybe you don't show up for meetings. Maybe you don't show up for webinars. Maybe you just don't show up physically and emotionally you are drained. So you need to make sure that those relationships are in check, you know? And then obviously I'm not going to dwell much on that one. But if you felt that one, send us some love because it is Valentine's Day, by the way, you know, and you also have to have friendships around you because it's not, it's not what you know, it's who you know. 
All right. So great friends are going to be supporting you and they'll be helping you to they'll be helping to push you forward towards your goals. You know, and you know what, what, what you might attract along the way, you might attract bad friendships. And you know what these bad friendships are going to be doing? They're going to be inviting you to have a drink every single day. They're going to be wanting to pull you down to their same level. You know, in, 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 in Africa, when, um, you know, we've got this saying about crab fishing. You know, when you go crab fishing, um, and if you've got a bucket that you're putting the crabs in it, there's no need for you to, to close the lid. You know why? Because the, the crabs are not going to escape anyway. First of all, they move sideways. And second of all, they're always pulling each other down. So if one tries to escape, they're going to be pulling each other down. So look around you. Are you living around with crabs or are you living around with people that are going to elevate you? It's those kind of relationships that you should also be nurturing and figuring out how are you going to be doing what you're doing in order to be doing and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And Naomi says, this is so on point and relevant to my intentions today. Thank you. Absolutely. I'm really enjoying having you watching this show so that we can get to actually start and rekindle whatever relationship we're going to have moving forward. You know, so you want to guard against bad friendships. You want to guard against bad energy around you because at every, every single day, they can't see past if, if people don't have a vision, if people don't see where they're going, they can't see past their situation themselves, you know, so they don't want anyone to elevate themselves and, and then they have to start worshipping you or looking at you in a different light, you know. So you probably really, really need to make sure that um, one of your goals as an entrepreneur is to surround yourself with people that are actually making moves in their own lives. Because you know what they say, I think it was Jim Rohn, he says, you're an average of five people you hang around with. Take stock of every single person that you hang around with. You know, are they working hard and getting ahead in their life? Or are they looking to connect with other like-minded entrepreneurs so that you too can be introduced to those people considering, you know, the network that you've created? Those are the types of friendships that you need to have your, your business to grow. All right. And then we now have um, these days where we all go out networking. We go out to either look for business partners or to look for clients. You know, you know, you know that um, that 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 jazz of of going out to network and um, you know go in and exchange business cards, etc., etc. If you're one person that's doing that, I advise you to stop doing that. Don't just be um, a, 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 a business card giver and then forget about it. Guess what? Nobody's going to ring you unless they're ringing you for their own intention. All right. So if you really want to make friendships from the people that you network with or from the people um, you know, that you, you, you meet in a business setup. All right. Um, look or look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know, I don't know, I might have lost um, in, in that in translation, all right? So, where was I? Look, come on, you're disturbing me. Where was I? Where was I? Come on, come on, come on. All right. Um, okay, how many times have you, as an entrepreneur, um, or maybe, you know, um, you know, gone to a network ev event and then you, you meet a lot of people and then when you leave that networking event, you never talk to them ever again, you know? Um, it happens a lot, right? Do you know what I mean? It's not because uh, you don't like them or, or you never want to be friends with them, etc., etc. But it's because as entrepreneurs, we're busy people. We're too busy to know what's happening in Sally's life or in Jack's life or anyone's life. And we barely remember what we actually had for breakfast. I mean, especially for me, I can't even remember if I've eaten at all, you know, just because I'm always busy, 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 trying to, you know, fulfill my clients' needs, my business needs, etc., etc. So half the time, all these people that we, 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 we meet at networking events, we never connect with those individuals at all. We never actually connect with them. And it's a shame because half of these people can actually become contacts and a source of, you know, your potential future business. If you actually bother to cultivate these relationships with them, 
Do you know what I mean? So, so don't be misled by, um, you know, those expert um, networking gurus that say that it's not the number of contacts that you make that is important. It's the ones that you turn into lasting relationships that make a difference. I, I, I actually do not believe the, the adage, the, the, the same topic that I started this video with to say it is not, you know, what you know, um, it, it is who you know. I don't actually believe that. I believe that it's not what you know or who you know, it's how well you know each of these people that actually counts. Because if you know me, but you don't know me well enough, there's no chance that you can just pick up the phone and call me and just say hi and I will have five minutes for you. How well do you know these contacts? How well do you know these relationships? How well do you know these people that you can ring them up at 7 o'clock in the evening and they will be able to actually pick up your phone call without them saying, why don't you call me tomorrow? You know? So there's quite a difference between having a contact and having relationships with other people. Are they able to help you? Can you pick up the phone at 9 p.m. and say, hey, look, listen, um... Yeah, I'm going through this in my business and they will have time for you and they'll stop whatever they're doing in order to listen to you. Because right now, I want to challenge you. Try making 10 phone calls to people that you've just met. They'll tell you, why don't you book a meeting? Or, you know, um, or they'll tell you to call them next week when it's not busy, etc., etc. Even if they have time, but they don't have time for you. You know? But if it's people that you've created relationships with, it's people that now know, like, and trust you. If you call those 10 people and you, 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 you have a certain level of quality that you've shared with them and value that you've shared with them, guess what happens? They will actually have time for you. So here is a question for you. How can you actually deepen the relationships with people um, you know, to get to the point that they will be willing to help you out in the future? Right now, the people that you think you actually know. Because at the beginning of the year, guess what I did? I went in and I removed almost everyone that's in my news, um, you know, that's in my friends list. I had 4,500 people. Now it's gone down to 450. Because I really want to deepen the relationships with people. It's no longer about numbers. So that's why this video is really about... Who are you in terms of the relationships that you actually have? And are those relationships reliable in as much as you can ring them up and say, Hey, listen, I've got a problem. And then they're happy to listen to you. Or them, th those people can call you with their problem and you're happy to listen to them. So here are four ways for you to actually start deepening this relationship. Give people a call. These days, we only just text on Messenger. We only just text or whatever. It's not emotional enough. And things can get mis misconstrued in, in, in a text message. How many relationships have started and ended just because of a misread um, you know, text message? Pick up the phone and call these people. I, I know it's a really crazy idea, but actually call people and talk to them. Hey, look, what's happening? Hey, Sally. Hey, John. Hey, Tuff. Hey, Naomi. Hey, Trish. How's it going? All of those things. Pick up the phone and actually ring these people and sprack and Z with them. Then you can get instant feedback of how they feel about you, about what they're doing and how they can actually help you. G'day, Trish Mileli. How's it going? And happy Valentine's Day. Hope you're having a fantastic day right there. You know? So those people that you just met at whatever networking event, set up a time to actually create a relationship with them. Meet up with them for a coffee or something like that. I've had so many coffee meetups with people, um, you know, and, and now we've got partnerships in, in web design. We've got partnerships in, um, you know, different aspects of my business. So don't try and sell people you, you know you know anything just because you met them at a at a networking event create relationships with those people you know and when you set up meetings with these people it deepens that connection you start to know them on a personal level and then eventually that can then translate into a professional um, you know relationship you know and at the end of the day it's these relationships that we need in order to be do and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable because people buy from those they know, like, and trust. I keep repeating this. You know why? Because then that's how it, it, will, it will sink in. 
So this Valentine's Day, after you love it and love it with your spouses, find out who haven't you, um, you know, spoken to in a while that is in a position to, to actually help you with your business going further. And make this call, you make this calls with all these people that, that you have helped before or have helped you and ask for referrals and find out if they cannot help you any further. Because these days we might just keep looking for new and new and new and new business. Like I said earlier on, each and every person knows at least 250 people. So if you ring me up, I might have somebody in my network of friends in that 250 that might be, um, you know, of, 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 of need to whatever it is that you're selling. Try and learn a lot more about other people and their current activities, what they're doing this year, etc., etc., and figure out how you can actually help them by bringing business to them. And guess what then happens? Reciprocity. They will then reciprocate that with the other people that they actually know as well. You know, and it doesn't necessarily mean you do it only today at Valentine's Day, um, especially for your spouses or for, you know, those that you love or your partners, etc. Stay in touch with these people throughout the whole year. I've got a touch point list that I have and I have, you know, I've got one of these uh, diary diaries that I have my daily goals. And one of the daily goals is how many people have I added value to and who have I contacted that I haven't contacted in a while. So every single day, I contact one new person. And guess what? After the end of the year, I've got 365 new rekindled relationships. And guess where my business all comes from? You know? So you want to stay in touch with these people throughout the whole year. You know? Include anyone who has sent you business, um, you know, in the past year or whatever it is. Figure out what it is that you can do. Set up a coffee date. Set up after works drinks. Like what we did, Trish, the other day. Get to know people because people do business with those they know, like, and trust. You can pick up the phone right now and say, hey, I know you from Facebook. But if we haven't created a relationship, there's no chance in hell that I will give you two minutes of my time if you don't have anything that I want. So figure out what people want and deliver it to them in a way that they actually understand who you are and how you can be of use to them. I see Nick Niakere is in the house. How are you going, my friend? And always maintain communication. Always maintain communication. At the end of the day, like like your 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 spouse, your the relationships that you have, don't just buy them flowers just because it's Valentine's today. Maintain that communication throughout, especially with your clients, with people that are giving you money, with people that are giving you business. You know? Cause whatever you're gonna be doing within your 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 entire existence as a business person, no finger is going to be useful all, all by itself. Each finger has a purpose for you to actually have a hand that's functional. So if you miss out this one finger, then that means your hand misses out on certain things that it's capable of doing, like writing or like, you know, touching or, you know, um, using a crossbow. So make sure each relationship counts. Don't just collect people and hold them hostage and, you know, in groups or in your friendship, um, you know, um, you know, friendship lists or in your email uh, lists. Connect with those people. Find out exactly who they are and what they are actually doing and how you can be of use to them. You may find out that in your friendship group, that's where most of your business opportunities may come from. You know? There will be a lot of business opportunities, somebody that you just ring up and they're like, you know what, I was actually looking for a graphic designer. You know what, I was actually looking for a digital marketer. You know, because your business depends on these relationships, not just making them, um, you know, a one click wonder type relationship. And last but not least, maintain the relationships that you have with your fans, your followers and with your clients. These are the people that are going to be affording you the lifestyles that you, you are always after as an entrepreneur. You know, this is the type of relationship that needs to grow over time. They don't necessarily need to know what's happening in your life every single day. But at least if they know something, then it makes them know, you know, what your values are. It makes them know if you are, are, are aligned with who they are as a person. And it, it makes them know how they can purchase from you. So the more value you're creating in the marketplace, the more word of mouth of marketing will start kicking in. Videos like this, writing blogs, putting stuff out there that is designed to help people by actually helping them create relationships. 
your business will start growing. So don't just take Valentine's today to splurge on chocolates and flowers, etc., etc. Use it to actually rekindle whatever relationships you haven't in the past. And the more value you're creating in the marketplace for people to actually help, um, you know, help them solve their problems, um, the, the, the bigger your business will start scaling. And those that are in your world will start looking at you and start watching what it is that you do. This, this is how businesses are made. We might think, yes, everything is happening online, but most businesses, handshakes happen offline. So create those relationships, my friend. You know, sometimes you might struggle and say, oh, I don't have time. And you might not have time for your friends, your followers or your clients. Do you know what I mean? But if you don't have time, then you must have money. You know, and people is where the relationships actually matter. So make sure you're spending most of your time, you know, with the people that actually matter. If you're prospecting, make sure these are the people that are going to convert. So like I said, Valentine's, yes, is for lovers and spouses, etc., etc. Do you know what I mean? Or, or those people that have a crush on others. But there's many different types of relationships that are in your life. Do you know what I mean? And the key is to actually understand them. Keep them from affecting your business negatively. Now, uh, Nicole says, could you stay the longer, could you say the longer you build relationships, the higher return of investment you gain? Absolutely. Like Nicole, who pays your bills? Who gives you money that you need in your, in your, in your business? It's people, isn't it? It's people in their credit cards. So if you don't have relationships with these people, they are paying people that they know, like, and trust. And if they don't know you, they don't trust you, that's the reason why you can't have business. Your relationships will help you grow. They'll help you focus. You know what? At the end of the day, some sales people um, lose out on business because they don't have friends to tell them, hey, listen, your beard is a little bit too big. Why don't you groom it? Small things like that or friends that go on your website and say, hey, um, I tried to do this on your website and it didn't work. Fix it. That's how some people lose out on business because they don't have people that are telling them what's happening. So your relationships can actually help you grow. And then the more you focus on them, the more it will help with your business success. You know, you're the one that actually determines the effects that they can have. So be smart about your choices. All right. So like I always say, guys, my blueprint is designed to help you start scale and grow. And everything that I talk about is in there. So today we're talking about connecting and the kind of relationships that would actually help you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. I would like to start a relationship with you. Let's start it off by having a coffee. I just want to know what you do, who you do it for, etc., etc. So type in the words coffee and let's have a coffee date sometime in the, in the week to come. Um, I will give you the link so that you can book yourself in and then we can have a chat. In the meantime, enjoy your Valentine's Day. Go and spoil your loved ones and just have a fantastic day and rekindle all those relationships because it actually matters. All right. Bye for now.